what is up youtube your boy doug the man is back in with another dead by daylight youtube video today i have a two-in-one video uh kind of channel update what's going on with the channel video and also the september mid-season chapter update that should be now coming live thursday that's kind of reason the reason why i haven't uploaded a video and sometime is because i was kind of expecting this to come out today or even tuesday or something like that and it didn't it's coming out next week so this video is coming out today and within the next couple of days i should also have another video a regular uh dead by daylight video coming out to y'all and yeah i hope you enjoy this video and always like subscribe i appreciate any comment and i appreciate all the support that began the youtube channel as of lately i haven't done a webcam in some time now so this is kind of unfamiliar territory that i have not been a part of for some time so i hope you enjoy the video um i guess we'll first jump into the september ptb developer update notes that'll be coming on live like i said should be coming next thursday so we'll jump right into that first developer update coming in september like i said next thursday this coming next thursday um mori update so the um ebony and ivory mori will be still in the game and now this allows you to kill every subscriber that uh, su survivor that hits second hook state excuse my language uh second hook state as a be as like before but now the all end game finisher allows you to more the last survivor so they're taking out i believe it's the yellow mori that'll be no longer in the game but down here also it says in a result of that they're giving 1 million blood points to if you have one of these on one of your killers so it's not really distinctive if you get 1 million per or 1 million every like this amount or if it's just if you have one in general you're gonna get one million. i assume you're just gonna get 1 million if you have at least one of those moris on one killer they just need i imagine so you should be getting 1 million blood points if you can log in between october 8th and 17th which is will be awesome for you million like that um next is the skull merchant i was really happy because she's not one of my more favorite killers that i like to play as or even go against so i was really happy when she kind of got a nerf coming into this ptv and i guess everyone's feelings were she got too much of a nerf so now they're kind of re amping her back up but still giving her her original nerf to begin with um like they're changing for instance a uh, new gain five percent haste when a survivor is scanned within five seconds or placing a drone or changing the rotation of the drone uh, you get haste now as skull merchants so cool uh change increase hindered effect when scanned by a drone is eight percent was five during the ptb change increase drone rotation to 95 degrees was five there in the ptb and decreased movement speed and deploying a drone or inspecting the radar to 4.4 meters was 4.6 so they lowered that speed down also you no longer get um uh, fast vault uh notifications what i'm uh, assuming killer instinct so if you fast vault during the drone uh, you, i think you used to get killer instinct on that survivor so that shouldn't be happening anymore so that that's kind of what's new with the skull merchant so i mean hopefully i, I like i said not really more, one of my favorite killers to play as or even go against so doesn't really affect me too much um but all you skull merchant players out there gamers you gotta get going with the new ties i guess <laughs> um hillbilly basically what i think i remember is during the ptb they were just reworking hillbilly's overdrive mechanics not make him so overpowered but then they kind of saw during the ptb that kind of too much of a nerf so i think it was like right here the only change that's showing right here is increased chainsaw movement speed to 12 meters was 11.5 during the ptb i believe before the ptb is at 13 which is current um so they kind of just went in the medium between their nerf and what it originally was. so i mean that's cool i, I like playing billy and billy's always fun <laughs> i appreciate that um distortions getting changed i like this now you get tokens up to two and it only recharges now when you're in chase before you just had to be stealthy within the terror radius of this of the killer not be noticed now it's just you have to be in chase to get this token recharged which is awesome i i think that's a good change uh zanction tactics uh new when whoever drops a pallet survivor that's near you within uh will get their aura revealed for eight seconds also they changed it back to what it originally was which was windows opportunity for killer to where now you can still see pallets in vault locations within a 32 meter radius of you but they did remove to where you can't just constantly see the aura of the survivor during the PTB, which I thought was a little too overpowered. So I'm glad that they changed it to now as the temporary state of when they originally drop it instead of just always being around a drop pallet. Awesome. I like that change. 
uh corrective action this i saw kind of got blown out of proportion in the piece i think it was like the first day i was just scrolling and i just saw video after video after video of corrective action being broken in the ptv so i'm kind of glad that they uh, nerfed it from what it was uh which which is what this one comment right here is uh dev note we challenge you to push things to the limit on the ptb and boy did you ever <laughs> it, that, that pretty much summed it all up uh during the ptb i think one of the i saw was like yeah two people working on the same gen and everything and it changed it to where now it's a great if you miss a skill check so they for how many times you would get a skill check it seemed like you never had to do anything you were just being great 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 like you didn't have to do anything on a gen you literally just had to click the one button and just sit on it so i'm glad to change it back to where now it's changed corrective action once again turns a missed skill check into a good skill check not a great like in the ptb is and new when corrective action is active reveal the aura of the survivor who missed the skill check <laughs> so now you can see who actually missed the skill check and then this uh other one down here and remove corrective action no longer having to range them so i think what that means now is if you're at killer shack and someone's at like a main building and you two are working on different gens but you have this perk and you have a token and someone the other person that's at the other gen misses a skill check you then see their aura to know that they messed up also it changed their missed skill check into a good so it's like they never even missed a skill check which is awesome so i like that i i think that's a good change um yeah i think corrective action was more value during game time maybe maybe maybe, maybe just a little bit more than what it was before but no, nothing game changer for it and then the last thing down here deathbound they basically just changed the effect now to when you lose the effect when you lose a health state during the ptb it was you only lost that um effect when i think you were on the hook yeah i think when you got rehooked is when it deactivated so you you could theoretically go the whole game without you get hooked once never get hooked again and you would never have lost it through the whole game so i think it just took too long so i'm glad that they changed that back too as well um scrolling back up to the top here i guess just to have this i um the if you stuck around this far of the video i appreciate that awesome um always thankful for that <laughs> um but we'll just talk about what's coming in the near to the future of the channel um like i said sorry didn't upload anything through this week i was really banking on the idea that this update was going to come out so i was just content on it turns out it's coming out next week so we gotta wait for that uh I'm going to upload another regular Dead by Daylight video in the next couple of days. A um, couple of things is I realized I haven't made a Dracula build video yet since he's come out. So I kind of want to do that. So that might be the video that comes out or it might come out later on. Sorry for that. Wait, but <laughs> I haven't done that. So that that's definitely a planned video. I'm planning on uh, trying to stay up to date with more videos. I know it's been kind of hit and miss. Uh, this past year a lot of personal stuff has happened this week past year as well as just laziness i guess <laughs> could also be a part but hopefully we're gonna get back on track with the regular amount of videos coming out and uh, that's the plan um also probably sometime next year i do want to do some challenges that i've seen other content creators do like uh spooky loops for instance uh currently just got done doing his last challenge just the other day I watched was the uh killer hardcore channel his was very hard so i might not do it how he does it i might just do my own spin or maybe another content creator spin but i kind of want to do that uh that probably is going to come out in 2025 uh, because uh going through the rest of this year there's a lot of game modes coming out holidays are happening like the halloween and the christmas and new year's like back to, it's like every week's just gonna have that and the new season starting and everything like that so i'm probably gonna just end up doing that next year when everything kind of comes down to like slow pace through updates and stuff so <laughs> you can probably see a challenge like that maybe even a survivor challenge coming in next year but um that's kind of where i'm going with the channel i'm still planning on just purely pretty much doing dead by daylight um but that could change if it blows up and everybody likes different content but um I really appreciate all y'all for watching my videos and this has been so much fun being on this youtube journey i am having such a blast i guess i guess i guess to say the least just fun so appreciate all that and i will see you next video bye <laughs>